Uh, there's a beautiful sunrise in the morning, but unfortunately not everything you look at in the morning is beautiful. I've just come down to Marina Street Oval, or some people call it Hillcrest Oval in Barara, which is a suburb where I live in Sydney. And this place has been trashed last night by the same group of hooligans who keep trashing the suburb over and over. I'm just surveying how widespread uh, the activity is here. There are modified energy drink bottles that we really can't take a close look at in this video because we're trying to be safe and friendly. Lots of broken glass in that area there. And remembering this is a children's playground, children will be coming down here today to have a play. I'll start taking a closer look at things and that really starts to tell everyone what's been going on down here. Okay, what are those bags there? Well, in that case there, a picture tells a thousand words. All this is connected, probably the best way for me to say things. There is also a wine flask there. That's what's inside a wine flask. So maybe keep some tabs on the amount of alcohol the teens have been consuming down here. Now, getting up near one of the tables, there is broken glass there in all sorts of tiny shards. Now, someone's got to come along and pick up every shard of glass because this is the children's playground. This is the new norm in the suburb where I live, thanks to the virus times. Uh, there are some vapes there, very small disposable ones. But the rest of the table looks clean apart from, it looks like part of a broken scissor up there and an umbrella. With the sun doing its best to peep through the cloud cover, it's making those broken bottles on the ground look amazing. But there's nothing amazing about this. I just can't believe that this continues on on a weekly basis. It's a triangle of trouble as I keep talking about in the suburb and it's always one point of that triangle of trouble that gets hit up. There's some curious activity over here near the kindergarten. Almost like if you follow the rubbish and stuff on the ground, you come across a very curious lurky area here where you can sort of hide out if people turn up and this is what I found. This looks to me like a bit of an unloading area. Uh, they brought alcohol down here and it's been brought over here so it doesn't look obvious. Yeah, so when you're in here, you're not really that visible from the park area. I can also see the ground's fairly well worn here. So it's an old lurk. Let's take a look at this other side of the park next. Before I get going here, I'll just cover up this very modified energy drink bottle so it's a bit easier to video around here. Okay, this is the other picnic table, and by looking on the ground, well, you can see there's been lots of alcoholic beverages drunk here. Remember, keep count of the amount of alcohol that you see. Going right around here, a couple of other things as well, a water bottle, and I can't explain what that's here for, but there's a very good reason why. It looks like they brought a puppy dog down as well. Okay, let's take a look at the table next. Well, it's messy underneath and it's messy on top, and I wonder if there's a bit of a frozen moment going on here. They like their very cheap orange juice. There's a beer there that has been opened but not drunk, so I wonder why. There's some gum there. Another beer which is empty. Uh, more gum which has been chewed through. A uh, big block of chocolate, all full of sugar. And of course, a modified energy drink bottle under there, and there's also a vape next to it. On the ground here is a disposable vape. It's been broken up and so we get to see the battery set and also where the fluid lies in these which gets vaporized. Many people don't understand what these look like. Uh, get to know what the insides look like and also what they look like on the outside. And if I put my finger next to it, you get to see the scale of it. They're actually quite small. I keep asking myself a pretty simple question. I know other people in the suburb ask the exact same question. That is, when is this gonna stop? It's pretty obvious the teens do this without fear and without being challenged. Now in the morning, people are gonna come down to the park here, it's a Sunday morning, and look what they're confronted with. Broken glass everywhere, drug paraphernalia all over the place, and someone has to come along and clean this up. So often it's a local resident, as I've been reading from Facebook posts that have been sent to me, but I've gotta ask, when is this gonna stop? Where are the police on this matter? It's no secret what goes on here in the triangle of trouble. And as usual, something was said on Facebook, it was sent to me as a text and I'll read it to you. Constant occurrence. Please notify council and police. Perhaps then they may act. Well, this has been going on for months and months and months and nothing seems to change. Uh, reading on here, this is all the time. Weekends, weekdays, dare you not say anything or you'll get attacked. 
And what that's referring to is if you put up pictures or talk about this too much on the local Facebook page, you have some locals here who want to cut you down and protect those who are wrecking the suburb. And that's how crazy this situation is. Continuing on, if there is graffiti, please take a photo and upload it onto the police portal. As I said last Mess Hunter video, I am sure that portal is packed with photographs of graffiti and tags. And again, continuing on. So the local teens or whoever partied here have ruined the little kids weekend because they can't play there. And it's completely despicable leaving broken glass across a children's playground. It's the lowest of the lows. Before I went home, I came over to the other far side of the park. There's the cliff over there. I was here, I don't know, about six weeks ago looking at a mess. The seats here look pretty clean. This is a fairly reclusive area and often I've seen in this part of the park uh, naughty stuff going on. The pair of underwear that was under the cliff has drifted over here. Maybe best not to dwell on that too long. And I also had a chat to some people who came down to the park this morning and they wanted to use the park that I looked over earlier in the video and I said to them, you can't use it. It's just really messed up. And then we got into the discussion about why is this going on and the suburb never used to be like this and you can argue this point all day and all night and as the locals here can see that nothing seems to change and i'm hoping that these videos is going to shake something up to make things better and to really crush what's going on something has to be done to stop this cycle of reckless activity I've just come back to the park and there is a lovely local mum and she's the person cleaning up this big mess and as I said before it's the local people having to clean up this mess and I think everyone here is sick and tired of seeing this repeated activity and she's doing a wonderful job there and look down there all the mess that has been picked up by the locals here. Okay so my idea is that this is all right, as long as they come back at 5 a.m. the next morning and clean it all up for us so we can still use the park. The beautiful <laughs> words of wisdom from the local lady cleaning up this mess. If only the hoodlums would come along and clean up this mess, everything would be fine.